All right, welcome to this little tutorial about React Compiler. It was called React Forget before, and they have just released it for the public, so I've been trying it out today. And I'm gonna show you how to set it up with Vite. So let's get started. I have my uh, little old application here. I made this before for my YouTube channel, a React Memory Game. So I'm gonna use this code base to install the React Compiler and show you how to do that. So this is the application that we're gonna use. And I'm also gonna show you the code here very small application, nothing much going on here. So you can see here, uh, I've also installed the React uh, latest beta version, 19. And I can show you how to do that also. If you look here, it's pretty easy actually. npm install React at beta and React DOM at beta. So just copy them from their site or type them in and install them like that. And that will make sure that you use the latest version, the latest beta version of React. All right, React Compiler, they have a quite good uh, um, documentation here for it, actually. So we're going to follow this one here. I have, uh, I'm using Vite for my application, as you can see here. Everything is the latest version here now, TypeScript and Vite and everything. Let's go back to the documentation, and we're just going to follow it here. You can read this, of course, yourself here. I'm not going to go through that now. But they have a handy little tool here that's called React Compiler Health Check. With this one, you can check your code base to see how good it will work with React Compiler. So I'm gonna run this command, mpx React Compiler Health Check, in my folder where I have the project. So I run that one, and you can see that it checks my app here. The code generator has to optimize the styling. Okay, yeah, that's fine. But it successfully compiled two out of two components. I'm using strict mode and found no usage of incompatible, incompatible uh, <laughs> libraries. Yeah, that's my Swedish. I don't really know how to pronounce that. Incompatible, yeah, something like that, maybe. We're good to go. We can actually install the React compiler and start using it with Vite. So we scroll down here. They also have an ESLint plugin for React. So I'm going to copy this one here and install that one. So npm install eslint plugin react compiler. Great. It's always a great idea to have some linting and stuff set up for you when you code. So we have to do some modifications here in our eslint config. So let's do that. Go in the code base here uh, and we have it up here. So let's see what we should do. We're gonna add it to the plugins, right? Let's do that. ESLint plugin React compiler. And then we need to add it to the rules also. React dash compiler forward slash React dash compiler. And it has a value of two. So that is the ESLint plugin setup here. And we're going to use Babel to use it with Vite, so we have to install that plugin also. So npm install Babel plugin React compiler. And that's everything we need to install this one. And we have to check here also how to use it with Vite. We have to do some modifications in the Vite config file. Vite config. And I can actually just copy this one here. And instead of this default, when you set up Vite, paste it in here. I don't have any more config. So I can remove this one here, do some auto formatting. So what it's doing here is set, on, is set up this plugin with Babel and Vite. We installed this plugin before and now we use it when we build stuff with Vite. And that is actually everything we have to do here now. We have installed it successfully, hopefully. So we can try to run it, npm run dev. Yeah, something is deprecated here. Yeah, that's fine. Let's go inside the app and check our terminal. Because how do we actually know that we are using optimized code with React Compiler? And if you're using uh, the React DevTools and go inside the components, you can actually see here that this one tells us that it's memorized. So you have these stars here on memo, and that means that the React Compiler has run all of these components and of course, this is a small application, so we only have the app and the card, so it's only two components. But this is how you know that it's been compiled with React Compiler. So that's everything you need to do. 
So when you have this setup, you don't need to use memo and use callback and stuff like that. So it's really, really, I think it's a, a lifesaver. No, not a lifesaver, but it's really, really great to don't have to do that yourself manually. And it also can clutter your code a lot with all those memoization and callbacks and stuff like that. So this is how you set up a React compiler with Vite. Hope you learned something in this tutorial and please subscribe if you like it.